and welcome to my third in my series of city travel vlogs. The city that I'm exploring today is home to this beautiful cathedral that you can see behind me and is also the former capital city of England. It is of course the city of Winchester. Now in this travel blog I'm going to show you the five top things that you have to do when you visit this city. Number one, best place for a cup of coffee. Number two, the best shop or business to visit. Number three, the best place to grab something to eat. Number four, the top tourist attraction. And my favorite, number five, the hidden gem of the city. So come on, let's go and explore and see what this city has to offer. As always, we start by looking at the best place to grab a coffee. When you first arrive in Winchester, head over to the little independent coffee bar, the Cabinet Room, for a choice of coffees and sweet treats. The Cabinet Rooms, which supports the charity Dementia Friendly, is the perfect place to sit back, have a well-prepared cappuccino along with a homemade cake served by the friendly staff. The atmosphere is relaxed in a traditional setting. Time to highlight our favourite business within the area and look no further than the drink makers Proudfoot and Co. A business that prides itself on life being full of discovery. This business provides customers with a range of refreshing drinks all made from natural ingredients that the owner has collected himself by foraging in the surrounding areas. They combine rare ingredients with lost drink making techniques to create one of a kind drinks for the bold and curious. All the drink creations are non-alcoholic for a more inclusive and unique drinking experience. Now we turn to the top tourist attraction within the city and due to the significant history within the city, the number one attraction you should visit is Winchester Cathedral. This stunning cathedral is one of the finest medieval cathedrals in Europe. Located in the heart of the city, once the seat of Anglo-Saxon and Norman royal power, this magnificent cathedral is the resting place of Saxon royalty, bishops and of course Jane Austen, the much loved English novelist. Take your time to explore this historic building by yourself or sign up for a guided in-depth tour. A significant amount of time is needed here to really appreciate the significance of this place within the history of England. This place is not to be missed. There are a number of places to eat in this city. But if you're looking for an independent restaurant in the centre of the city, serving local fresh food, then head over to Forte Kitchen. Forte Kitchen is a multiple award-winning restaurant and it's easy to see why. Sit under the stylish hanging lights and be served by the friendly and helpful staff and be spoilt for choice by a large appetizing menu. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch, dinner and private functions. Now it's time to showcase the hidden gem of this city and that is St Giles Hilltop. Take a short walk to the edge of the city, climb the 100 plus stairs to the top of the hill and you will be awarded with a stunning view of the entire city. Be blown away by the views of the castle and the cathedral. 
Take your time to try and identify other areas of the city. There is certainly a lot to see. There are a number of benches on the hilltop for members of the public for a well-deserved rest before you begin your climb back down. Considering the viewing point is free of charge, I would highly recommend you make this part of your visit. So there you have it, the city of Winchester. How fascinating and beautiful is this city? I really do hope you get the chance to come and visit this city very soon. Now, if you'd like to support my channel, please do subscribe to it and give this video a like and a positive comment down below. I'll be visiting another city very soon. Hope to see you there.